So in this video I'm going to be talking about this. So it's a Sephora lip kit. Um, it's the Sephora Give Me Some Nude Lip. So it is from 2016 spring. So it's like, it's not the newest one. It's one of the older ones. So I can't really... I can't rationalize paying 20, 30 euros for one lipstick, but hey, if it's a gift set and there are like six of them here, yeah, I'm gonna buy them and I'm gonna love them and I'm gonna use them. So sadly, as usual, you can't buy Sephora lip kits from Europe. And my boyfriend bought it for me from the States, so I'm super happy he did. I really do like this one and I've used it quite a lot. I do have my favorites. But you can't buy it from Europe, it's only from the States, which is kind of sad. So those who are not living in the States, but are living in Europe, and those who don't want to buy the lip kit, this is also like a review and a try-on for all the different lipsticks that are here on this kit, in this kit. In. So let's, let's first watch them and look at what they actually look like. So this is what the lipstick kit looks like. It's uh, Sephora, Favorites, Give Me Some Nude Lip, and you have six different lipsticks in it. So if you open it up, this is what it looks like. There's a bunch of, you know, dark black stuffing here, and then you have the lipsticks. First off, we have Urban Decay, uh, Comfort Mats in 1993. Next off, we have Bite Beauty, a really cute little neutral color. Then we have Marc Jacobs, really love the colour on this one, it looks absolutely amazing. We have Buxom Beauty, a nice little uh, really creamy lip gloss, lip glossy lipstick, I don't even know what it's called actually. Then we have one lip pencil, the Estee Edit, the barest contour lip liner, which is really nice and you can combine it with all of the other ones. Whoops, it's out of, yep. A lot better now. So you can cont uh, put it together with all the others. And then you have one from Too Faced, the Melted Matte. So let's look through all of these separately. So first up, let's start with the Urban Decay one. So this is what it looks like. On the bottom you see it is the Comfort Matte 1993. And when you take it out, this is one of the full-sized ones. You take it out and when you swatch it, it's this really nice brown color. I have worn it a few times. I wore it also in the video where I did a uh, face makeup look for that I'm currently wearing. That was the holographic H&M video. So you can check that one out. It's a really nice color. So the next one we have is this little Bite Beauty one. This is really tiny. This is the Honeycomb, honeycomb one. So Honeycomb Amouche Bouche. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend like I know how to speak French. So if you take it out, it's this tiny, tiny, tiny little one. I think it's so adorable. The lipstick color is really pretty. It's absolutely neutral. It looks really great. I wore it a lot during the summer and it does look really, really nice. So let's move on to the Marc Jacobs one. Again, this is a small sample, sample size and this is... This was upside down, that's what it is. This is a 246 Slow Burn. It looks really, really nice if you wear it on. Again, it's a tiny, tiny little sample, sampler size like this, but I love the sample sizes more than the actual sizes, actually, because there is a small chance that I might actually use all of it, and I will just throw it out when I've used all of it instead of getting bored of it or if it gets too old. So let, moving on, we have the Buxom Beauty one. So I really like this one. It has a pepperminty smell. It's really, really nice. Yes, well, I think all of them are really, really nice. It has a pepperminty smell. It does plump your lips a bit. And this color is White Russian. It looks absolutely amazing. It makes your lips look a hell of a lot bigger. It has a nice applicator. It's this... Um, Nude. Well, all of them are nude. It's the Give Me Some Nude Lip lipstick uh, collection. It's really nice and I do love it. This is one of my favorites. My favorites is the Buxom one, the Bite Beauty one and the Marc Jacobs one. So moving on, we have the only lip pencil that we have in this collection. Collection this is the Estee Edit, the Barest Concern Lip Liner in 05 in the buff. So you can use this lip pencil with all of them. I am not very nice at using lip pencils as you can see. It has this really nice, very nude 
one it pairs perfectly with the Marc Jacobs one it doesn't and the Urban Decay one it doesn't pair absolutely perfectly with the Bite Beauty one sadly enough but it's really nice makes me really curious about the rest of the Estee Edit lip pencils and then last one we have the Too Faced Melted Mattes really nice really nice color is Queen Bee it dries down absolutely matte. It's the only liquid, uh, liquid matte lipstick in this collection. And when we swatch it, you can see that it looks like this. So all of them are different. So you get quite a lot from this collection. You get uh, two liquid ones. You get three normal lipsticks and one liquid lip liner let's put it on and see what it actually looks like i do like the color and i do like that you get it in a full size so let's put it on and see what it looks like okay so this is one of the darker nude shades in this collection i think it's a very flattering shade it will look good on everyone especially people with slightly darker you know, skin complexions for me it's uh, because i'm uh, very i live in the north i have no sunlight i have quite pale skin for me it looks more like a slightly darker color than a nude color but i still like it it will not dry it down completely matte because it's it's a lipstick it's not a liquid matte lipstick and it will transfer but it is nice and well it will transfer but it looks really nice and I really do enjoy the color. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is this cute little Bite Beauty one. Did I show you the right one? See, the second one here on my hand swatches. So it's tiny, tiny, tiny. This is my nude shade actually because I am so pale in complexion. This is my nude. So let's put it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks really nice. This is my nude shade as you can see because my complexion is so pale. I wore it a lot during the summer. It looks really nice. I prefer the Marc Jacobs one currently during uh, autumn time because it has a little bit more color. So as usual, it's a lipstick. It's going to, it's going to transfer. So let's uh, move on and look at the Marc Jacobs one. Okay, so the next one is this little Marc Jacobs one, but I'm going to combine it with the Estee Lauder um, little pencil with because well why not uh, you can use the pencil on its own and put some lip gloss on it but just to show you what it looks like together i'm going to combine both of these so first i'm going to go in with the pencil so let's put it on Okay, so this is the pencil line. I do warn you that if you turn it up like this, you can't turn it back down. So be really careful. I use, I accidentally turned it up way too much when I started using it. And that's why mine looks not so, not so pretty. So let's put on the Marc Jacobs one so you would see what it looks like together. So let's, let's start. So, as you can see, the colors go together very nicely, and if you play with the liner line a bit, you can get an illusion of a bigger lip, so overlining the lip a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. So, I do like using these two together, but it looks a little bit more formal, so if you want something less formal, something just every day, put on this one. It looks absolutely amazing during autumn, and well, now it's almost Christmas, but yes, so... It does transfer so moving on to the next one okay so the next one is the box and beauty one and this is my absolute favorite from the whole bunch i do love it and it looks just so good on your lips so i'm gonna put it on and then you can see for yourself okay so this is what it looks like it's absolutely amazing it makes your lips a lot bigger it is really pepperminty so that kind of adds a bit more i love the gloss on it it's so shiny and it makes my lips look absolutely amazing yeah if only i had had this during my graduation ceremony i was looking for something like this but i didn't have anything it's the full-on lip cream okay so we now know what it actually is as well so i really like it i really love it as usual 
it is going to transfer but I still like it I think it's absolutely amazing so moving on to the last one okay so the last one is the Too Faced Melted Mattes in the color Queen Bee and I like it I do like what it looks like so let's put it on I like it so this is the only one that will dry down completely matte everything else will stay kind of um, you know liquidy and they will transfer this one it's gonna be completely matte and not not transfer at all but for me to show you that I have to wait for a little bit and then I'm gonna show you and tell you my final thoughts about everything well I like everything but I'm just gonna show you that it doesn't transfer okay a little bit of time has passed and no transfer or well, minimal transfer it's not completely matte yet yeah sorry about that but pretty much no transfer so let's let's say the final words I really like this kit I do like this kit I can't wait to get my hands on the next Sephora lip kit and uh, thank you for watching my little review video I hope you had fun I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again watching some of my other videos as well so thank you and